All right, so we're sitting up here now at the dealership. I'm um, picking up my car now. They just called me and told me it was done. Well, I'm sitting in it right now, but it's done. I'm gonna start it up and then I'll show y'all what the new splitter looks like. <laughs> Exhaust is coming soon. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Dealer six thousand four, I believe. Got these little winglets on the side, man. It did come with uh, the new side skirts, but they didn't put those on because I already have these ones on. They're not damaged, man. But the carbon fiber looks really good. It feels really nice. Everything, man. Big shout out to Valmar Chef for keeping my whip right, and they washed it too. Go ahead and show you. Just talk to the dude. Just washed my shit real quick. You know what I'm saying? It looks really nice though. Like, fuck with it. I got them headers on the way, bitch. You know them just coming. I just don't like how this fucking. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just mine or the 14s in general, but this fucking horrible body gap right here. This gap right here. I fucking hate that shit. It's horrible. Nah, I mean, the whip looks clean, man. Real clean wheels look fucking amazing. Brake calipers are good. Tires are good. Shit looks nice. But definitely keep me right, man. Shit looks good. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. This came in uh, a couple days ago, and we'll talk more about this later when I get back. But right now, I'm using my dad's truck because I have to go and get. All right, so I had to go back to the dealership that put my uh, splitter and everything on, and I have to pick up the kit because it has the. Um, when you order straight through GM, it comes with not just the front splitter, you have to get the side skirts with it as well. And mine was just the front splitter was damaged, but since you have to hold the whole kit, it came, everything came together. And this, those side skirts are not gonna fit in my car. So I'm going over there now to go pick it up, my dad's truck, and then I guess put it in the garage. I'll probably just sell it, right? I'll probably just sell it or something later on down the line, because I really don't need to know right now, because the only part that got damaged, like I said, was the front splitter, and the side skirts are still straight, so there's really no point in having onto it. There's no reason, no point in keeping it. Just for the hell of it, nah. Seven. It looked like it got red in tear too, but damn, that hoe was clean. Got a couple of paint scratches in, but that hoe was clean. Damn. I'm gonna go and run inside this collision center and um, grab these side skirts real quick. And then we can check out this Z06 they have out here real quick as well. And there goes a red one. I remember because the crazy thing is, like, I remember them telling me that they was like, um, the day I dropped my car off, there was literally another Corvette that came in the next day for the same exact reason. Same place, discount tire, New Braunfels. Um, <clears throat> messed up their, um, uh, or ran, fucked up their front splitter by running the thing into the curb. All right, as you can see, we got the side skirts. They are extremely long. Um, this is how they came in like the original packaging. Yeah, well, yeah, there it is, it's the carbon fiber. Damn, man, these things are fucking nice. But yeah, I'ma just probably put this in the garage, just have it, just keep it there until I get ready to sell them and everything. Also, another red uh, Corvette here. Yes, man, this thing is fucking clean, dude. See those six supercharged? Here it is, right here. They're only asking 77 for it. Watkins Glen, Watkins uh, Glen Gray Metallic, 11,000 miles on it. Eight speed, I prefer a manual. Only want 77 for 2017. As is no dealer warranty though. Yeah, this thing too. I think it's clean though, man. The side skirts, zero six side skirts. Pilot Super Sport Cup Twos. Looks like it has the carbon ceramic Brembo bricks too. It does, yeah. I think this thing is clean. Tent, dark as fuck too. Little brake scoop to cool the brakes off. They're all ducked. The Z07 wing on it. The adjustable wicker bill. Yeah, this thing is nice, man. 
I debashed this part though, and it has a carbon flash on it. Definitely clean. And the wide body, I love the way the wide body looks, man. And we know whoever had this took good care of it, or they took good care of their kid. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. How are you? Like 30 some photos online. Oh, yeah, I just <laughs> can't look at it in person. Yeah. 2017, 11,000 miles on it. Yeah. Z06 with a Z07 performance package, which I guess adds like $8,000 to it. Original yeah. window sticker was $102,000. Oh, yeah. Right now, I just have the Stingray, but I plan on maybe like next year or something trading it in for the Z06. Bring it that's in. that's Bring it like down. my. Go oh, not it. right now. No. Go I got I to gotta go to work in like less than an hour. You're in there but. saying he ain't trading that truck for Corvette. <laughs> Let me give you my card. Definitely nice. Yeah, because I just I just brought my Zen. I picked it up last week. Cause, um, I just got to uh, put a new uh, front splitter on it because um, this discount tire right up here at New Braunfels. Uh, damaged the front splitter like they ran it into a curve and it got cracked and everything and so, yeah. they take care of it for you oh yeah they definitely I appreciate the service like, everything they handled everything well never been in a situation like that and it came out great so look, look it over real good and like i said if you're dreaming about this tonight you just might have to bring the 14 back in this is this is uh, your 14 has what 460 horsepower 460, 650. 50, I think 650 or 655. With the only thing is that I don't like about it is it's an automatic. Mine's a manual. I prefer these in like a uh, manual. It has the red stitching and the red leather too, the red paddle shifters. Red leather. Yeah, that is nice. I seen it on the uh, the uh, sticker y'all have right there. And it has the Jake logo. Did you, what, did somebody trade this in or what? Yes. Three to 17 for new 19, same thing, Z06. <laughs> Traded it in 17 uh, for 19. package on it, white. Yeah. You pretty much have to order a 19 here. They do not order too many for stock. If you're gonna order one for stock, it's gonna be, you know, the transport. Because yeah, these people sense, want yeah. them exactly the way they want them. They want them the color they want, with the wheels they want, with the leather that they want. The mine would definitely be with the bigger wing. Um, I just like the, the bigger wing itself. I'm not too big of a fan of the wicker build part, but with the bigger wing and the uh, six, more aggressive six, spoiler. Six, six, yeah, but this I guess you can also, let more, more air off the back. Yeah, definitely, and it also increases that a lot of drag you, and everything. That gives you more drag, more downforce. Yeah. I don't see it staying on a lot for. It's not gonna last too long. Days. It'll be it'll be gone before I before I get ready to trade mine in. But it doesn't work. You know, if you buy one that's 102 or 105,000, you're gonna buy it for about 90. 697 plus TTNL, you're gonna be over hundred thousand yeah. dollars. And this one, you know, it's 749, you're 80,000. You're saving 20 bucks, 20,000 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Damn camera crop, I'm gonna record it again. But yeah, like I said, uh, Mike B, I was a guy who contacted me and handled everything, uh, helped me throughout this whole situation. Him and then the people at Valmark Chevrolet, I'll link their uh, info down below. Um, like I still, if you still don't know what happened, I'll link those two videos you need to go see um, up at the top. And like I said, um, them and the people at the Collision Center at Valmar Chevrolet, they all worked, you know, they did, they, they, they worked great. They helped me out the whole thing. They were really honest. They called me every day, kept me up to date with everything that they were doing. I just wanted to make sure everything went all right, and I appreciate that, you know, I really do. Um, like I said, nothing but kind words for them. That's for later on this week. I'm gonna get out the car and I'm gonna show you what that's gonna be about because you don't want to miss that video. So we have the splitters and then the thing in this box so in this box right here are my um texas speed headers with the um x pipe attached to them um i'm gonna get it done i'm gonna get it put on at this uh place called take pipe performance in san antonio texas called them up earlier today um schedule me for wednesday i'll go in um drop it off and then probably pick it up the next day thursday then i'm gonna get it tuned and everything and then i'll maybe do a dyno i don't know yet probably not but or take it to another shop to get a dyno, but uh, they said dyno is really just for uh, if you're making like too much power that you want to do that. But I had a friend at work, man. He has this um, pretty clean uh, red Camaro SS, man. So let me know in the comment section what you think will win: um, an automatic Camaro SS versus a manual Corvette Stingray. Me, I'm going with my Corvette, of course. Um, only the other thing I have one right now is a Corvette intake. 
and then that the quarter intake with the headers x pipe and a tune you know this thing should be screaming and then performing real well man so yeah, I, i'm trying to get a race in with him um maybe we can get one in stock before i get the stuff put on and then you know we can do like a before and after i know take live performance they do like a, kind of like a lot of recordings and shit. i'm gonna see if i can get them to the kind of like record and some of the stuff that they do or or some something along the lines i don't know like maybe like or if i get it down on tune there or down to somewhere else let me see if i can get some clips of that down on tune so i can show you guys can't wait to get these things on the car sounds good like i said but you know with the fuse pulled and everything it sounds good it sounds nice but it could be louder and with this it's definitely gonna be louder and then so i got some other stuff coming too so these headers and then this is gonna be it for performance wise for right now i don't know if i'm doing anything later or else but right now this is gonna be it for performance wise and then i'm doing all cosmetic mods exterior wise like i said i got the new front splitter on so it looks nice it's a stage two front splitter the um side skirts are not the z06 side skirts i don't believe because z06 like you want to see on that z07 were like really they were like um fat out here and then thin back there you know it's for you get out the car it gives you enough room so you don't step on the thing so it's really nice uh design and i don't know if that becomes with the more aggressive z07 style of packaging or what i plan on getting the uh stage two more aggressive rear spoiler uh it comes out like this and then you know it has a bigger wingless on the side at some point i plan on getting the oracle led side markers for a nice little night appearance on it um what else and then i plan on getting this uh rear diffuser um it's called the sick rear diffuser that thing's actually like hella expensive it's like two thousand dollars i don't know if i'm ready to spend that yet on this on this shit but the diffuser just looks so nice man especially i'm gonna throw a picture of it with like the wide body look on the stingray like it has these wide rear fender flares let me see if i can find some fender flares because i would love to get that on the wide part and then with that um diffuser it fits together perfectly i'm gonna throw a picture of it now but look it fits together perfectly but that's what I'm doing as far as cosmetic wise. That's gonna be really it for then. Maybe sometime next year I'll trade it in for the Z06. Like that is my, my actual dream car or the one that I like I truly know. C7 Z06. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, they handled everything perfectly. Glad to have the car back running good and everything. Uh, I had it five months now, going on six months. I'll probably do a six month review telling you how much what troubles I've had with it, everything that's going on. Oh yeah, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. At some point I'ma get the roof wrapped because and this i'll explain in another video but as you can see here like i see here it's kind of tearing right here and then up here it has these marks and stuff on them like right around here i'll go on the other side you can see it shows way better on the other side that is a story i'll explain in another video but stay tuned for that but yeah i'm gonna see if i can get it wrapped i don't want to buy a whole nother roof or trade it in or something but yeah that'll be something i'll explain in another video kind of like what happened and everything with this but that'll be it for now man like i said like the video give it a big thumbs up see if we can get down to 100 subscribers before the end of august you know you know that's unrealistic the end of august is like next week so at least um by the end of september uh hit that uh, subscribe button like i said give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it um let me know what else you guys want to see in the comment section below stay tuned because we got a lot of good stuff coming to the channel guys thank you always for watching take care have a blessed day see you next week